Welcome back to Jersey Matters. The Motor Vehicle Commission of New Jersey has been getting a lot of blowback on social media during the COVID-19 shutdown. And our Kimberly Kravitz says the chief administrator wants to set the record straight. Governor Murphy announced that Motor Vehicle Commission sites will be reopening in phases beginning June 15th. And the backlog of road tests stands at nearly 60,000. People are upset and they have a right to be. I mean, our whole world has been turned upside down. If you're a teenager, you know, you missed your prom, your graduation has been screwed up, and then you can't get your license, I get it. We spoke to Rhiannon Mendez, whose son has been waiting to get what most teenagers consider a rite of passage, a driver's license. So my son just turned 17 in May, and he was all excited because he had taken his driver safety course and he did his six hours training and he's had his permit for a while now and he had his road test set up for the following Monday the 18th. So once we heard DMV was continuing to stay closed, he was very disappointed. But now that motor vehicles are set to reopen, she still doesn't know how to go about getting her son rescheduled for his road test. But there's no way to find out, you know, if they're going to contact us since he already had an appointment or like what kind of waiting list we go on. So so the people whose road tests were canceled are going to get a notice in the mail with a special link that allows them to make an appointment at one of these new 11 locations. Those new locations are going to be reserved entirely for the people whose road tests were canceled. And the letters are going to go out starting with the people whose road tests were canceled between March 15th and April 15th. Truck drivers who were considered essential workers during the COVID-19 shutdown were a top priority for the Motor Vehicle Commission. Well, there was a huge demand early on. You recall, I mean, store shelves were empty and, uh, you know, truckers were trying to keep up with um, with that demand. So we've worked steadily these 12 weeks to ensure uh, that the folks who are on the road, if, if they needed a renewal, we made sure they had time to do it. Chief Fulton says it will take the agency about 60 days to clear the backlog of road tests. For other functions such as registration and licensing, you're looking at about 90 days, all depending on how many people use the online systems. My advice is if your transaction can be done online, do it online. We are clearing the backlog so, uh, and we're opening up appointments over the next two weeks for a road test. We're opening up Real ID appointments so that starting June 29th, we have people coming in for those transactions. Just like at every public venue, safety will be a top priority and specific measures are in place to keep customers at a social distance. Our facilities team has been amazing. They built the plexiglass barriers that are in every agency and road test facility um, to separate the customer from the clerk. We have tape on the floors that show people where to stand in social distancing. So they've been hard at work in all the agencies, not to mention they've done a lot of repairs and maintenance and upgrades. Chief Fulton tells me that although she's been getting a bit of criticism on social media, she wants to set the record straight. We want to make sure we're doing everything we can to get uh, those young people and new drivers uh, their road tests done, get them their licenses or permits, and move them along. The federal Real ID deadline has been extended one year through October 2021, so customers should not feel any pressure in that regard. Reporting from Trenton for Jersey Matters, I'm Kimberly Kravitz.